guys how are you doing welcome to my youtube channel my name is Adida for my case sunday and in this video tutorial i'll be teaching you how to build an engineering website it's just a simple engineering website that you can just you know use and you know and this is an example of a site i'm talking about now this is an example of the site can you see it so can you just see it? it's just like it's just a one page website so if you like it you can actually you know leverage on it and this is our services page and stuff like this so and this is where they can actually you know schedule a, bo a booking like for you maybe they want to have a free consultation with you they can schedule a booking with you and stuff like that and they can just give you a contact and stuff like that so i'll just be teaching you how to go about it step by step and I won't want to waste much of time on it. I'll be giving you everything I used to build this website for free of charge, both the templates. So all I, all I need to do now is to just come here. So this is, a, this is a new website. Let me show you the front end. Yeah, this is the front end of the website now it's just empty so let's go the first thing we need to do is just to come to our appearance and teams so when you click on teams you come to go and install your teams and if you have been following my video tutorial you notice that i use astra so you can click on this add new or click on this add new so when you click on any of it is sorry i'm coming yeah actually the reason why you see um, um error stuff is that i'm using vpn so i just close the vpn now and i just close the vpn so that is why it's showing error for all stuff so if you just click on your teams let me go back again so that you can see what i'm talking about so let's go back here just click on appearance or click on either this plus or click on this add new i'm going to click on this plus so when i click on this plus can you see now it takes me to this place directly because i was using a vpn that's why it was showing that error initially so all i need to do is just come here and click on install this is astra i want to use or if you don't see it here you can come to this place and type astra and type astra a s t r a s t r a so when you type astra it's going to show it here so you just click on install and anything you install you will need to activate it so let's wait for it to install now it has been installed so let's activate it so anytime you activate astra team it's going to give you a pop-up like this can you see there is a pop-up and telling you to activate a, their starter template starter template is a template that come with a pre-made template so that you can use for your design so just click on get started so when you click on get started it's going to activate this now when you click on get started here and it's activate the store this thing will reload and you know it will take you to an empty page like this so anytime you see an empty page like this, don't worry about yourself just come here and click on from here to this place can you see it from here to this place just leave that template so just delete it and click on enter so click on enter so it automatically take you to where you can see this template to use for your design so let's wait for it to load out the template for us so by default this is where it's going to show you all you just need to do is just to scroll down so when you scroll down and you click on build my web, build my website now so when you click on build my website now it's going to ask you which page you that you need just we have different type of page builder but the one i usually use is elementor so just click on elementor so when you click on Elementor, it's going to take you to where you can see all the templates they have. So we have a, a, a template for category, uh, for business category. Can you see this is different type of business? We have this one for local business, for anything you want. So all I just need to do is that the template I'll be using is this template S E R R A. This is the template I will be using. Sorry, this is the template I would like to use, and this is it. Can you see? It? And actually i will customize it and see how to go about it so just click on it so when you click on it don't forget to type this name so when you type this name it's going to show out this template to you and when you click on it it's going to load the preview for you here but we can't uh, sometimes it might take some time for this preview to come up so all you just need to do is just to come to this place and click on skip and continue all right but after clicking on skip and continue you just need to scroll down scroll down and click on continue after that again you need to scroll down here and click on build my website 
and in the next two or one minute it's going to build it for you can you see now the thing has actually been installed so let's check our website now click on this particular place to view your website so since our website has been viewed yes i'm going to take away this so now this is the website and you'll be surprised uh, how does it relate with this particular website <laughs> you'll be amazed that how does our website relate with this right don't worry everything uh, by the time we start it now you will see how to go about it so guys without wasting much of time so i would just like to just come here let me just refresh so you can see our new site now that we just install now i will turn let me turn this list to a dashboard now Another thing we need to do without wasting much of time is now is just to come here and click on edit with Elementor so that we can start editing the website. Okay, let me just open it here straight. Now, can you see now this is our website now? Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to make it look like this. If you look at that I need to make the size look like this so first thing I just need to do is that what I did here is that I you know I duplicate this and I drag this to this place yeah after dragging this to this place I click on this to make it a default one click on this make it a click on this and I turn it and I change this to left alignment. Click on this, turn it to left alignment. Click on this, turn it to left alignment. Yeah. So let me just copy what I put here. So let me just copy this. It's a waste of time. So let me just come here and copy this. And paste it here. Now, I will just turn here to what is it called um, our mission. If you notice, everything here is just like it's, it's not capital letter. So I will just come here, come to style. When you come to style, come to your typography, this it, and change it, change it, transform to uppercase. Yeah, cool. Now, another thing is that if you notice, this is this thing is inside both. So I'm going to change it to full width. So for me to change it to full width, I will click on this particular place, or I right click here and I, and I click on Edit Section. So now I will come here. Can you see this both? And I will change it to full width. Now when I change it to full width, now can you see everything now? Now, fine. All I need to do is that I'm going to add a padding to it. So I will click on this particular place. Can you see it? This place. I will click on it. When I click on it, I will come to my Advanced. And I will click on a padding of um, right. I think left should be 100. Can you see? Now, if you notice, uh, everything linked together. So let me let me delete it and click on this link value together. Please click on this. So when you click on it, I will come here now and type the 100. Can you see it? Yeah, I type the only there's a shift here and I will come to the right and type 500. Yeah, fine. So, if this is too big for you, you can actually click on it and come to style to reduce the stuff. And come to typography and you can reduce the size here. And just leave it at 60. Yeah. Now, after that, I'm going to come here again and put something under it, which is, uh, what is it called? Icon list. This is it, icon list. I'm going to drag it and put it under this, our mission. Can you see? Now, maybe I put it, can you see? You can't see anything. Yeah, because they are in black. So I'm going to change it to white color now. So, I'm going to come to this style and I'm going to click on the icon and click on the color and change it to white. Can you see? I'm going to come also to test and click on the test color and drag it to this place. So can you see now we can see them clearly? Yeah. So I'm going to come back to the content. I can just copy what I have here to make the work faster.
come here paste it in this place delete this and paste it there I can also do the same thing for this second guy I'll close it come to this place delete all this paste it also I will come to this third guy Now what I did was I did the same thing for all of them. So I, I can just change this. I can just change this icon. I can just put, let me just use this something like door. Okay. This is okay. I can just come here again. Let me change this to something like, uh, what is it called? Let me just use this. You can use anything you like. And I can just change the third or the first one and use something like handshake. I use something like this. And can you see now? If you look at it, this icon are very small. So I can come to this place to increase the size a little bit. Icon, I can just increase it to like okay. Let me just increase it to like 20 or 15. Yeah, I think it's okay. Test also, I can increase the test stuff. I can just drag it a little bit. Yeah, it's okay like this. Let me let's make it 20. Now, I can, if I want to put a space between this icon, I can just come here. I can just space between. I can just increase a little bit. Okay, no. I just leave it like that. Icon size alignment. Okay. Yeah, they okay like this to me. Now. After finish all this thing, if you notice my own, I use a video send. I can just come here. This is where I got a video link. So let me just come here and copy the video link. Uh, construction brief. Let me look for my flash uh, history. Let me come here. I've forgotten the name of, but I know it's construction structure. Okay, let me just start. Construction. Yeah, this is a video. See, so just click on it. So when you click on it, copy the link. Let me just click on share. And let me copy the link. This is the link. So if you come to this place, you will notice that there's an image here. If you want to use an image, fine. But if you want to use a video like what I did, fine. You can just click on this place or you right click on this place and you click on edit section so you click on edit section you come to this place your style and you delete this image if you want to use image you can just change this image but i'm going to delete this one i mean like delete this one you see this thing if you want to use gradients you can pick any color you like just come here and pick any color you like but i'm not using any color so i'm using a video so what i'm going to do now i'm going to come here and paste my video link here so when I paste the video link here, it's going to load up the video for me. Now, what I did here is that I actually make sure I do something that I'm not just using the video. You know, can you see this is a video now? Can you see this stuff? Can you see what, what I did here, which is nice? So what I do now is that I scroll down. Now, you see a place where write background fallback. Background fallback is that in case, in case that maybe... Before you know, when you are using mobile phone to check this website, you might your video might not play. So, and what do you need to do then? What well, then you can put an image that okay, in case there's no network and you want to actually, in case there's no network and you want to display an image there, you can put another image there. For example, let me show you what I mean here. Let me refresh, let me refresh this site and you will see something. Now, if you look at this side, now, can you see this image? It's a background image before the video will load up. And that is just what I'm going to show you guys on how to go about it. So I'm going to come here now. And I'm going to click on this plus icon. So I, I don't have image yet. So I'm going to come to my free image. And I'm going to type um, my, what is it called? What is the name? Um, let me check the name, please. Let me search for engineering here. I should be able to see. 
an engineer. Okay. Stash your tractor. Now, actually, uh, uh, this is the name of what I searched for, Buddha. So, when I search for the Buddha stuff, it's going to show them here. So, let us wait for it to load them. Now, this is one I, I can just click on this one to use on this. So, I click on this arrow. Can you see this arrow? Just click on it. So, it automatically imports the image for you. So, this is the image that will show if this video failed to load up because of network. So, I'm just going to scroll down now. And now the next thing i want to do here is that this arrow there's an arrow here can you see this arrow i'm going to click on it when i click on it it's going to open it here it's just like an icon so now i'm going to come to this advance to reduce the the size so it's 240 340 i'm going to change it to 150 yeah it's okay like this or 200 anyhow you can feel even anyhow you want to leave it now the next thing i want to do here is this about us section now this about us section, I don't really use it. I use different things. So what I do there, I can just come here and just scroll down. Can you see this is what I use as my about us section? So I'm just gonna come here and delete this about us section that we have here. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna click on this plus button to create another about us. I'm gonna click on this one at the middle. So when I click on this, I'm gonna come to this block, click on block. So I will need to just wait for it to load. So when you come to this block, all you need to do is come to categories and you see a lot of category, just click on um, about. Can you see this about? Click on about. So it's going to load um, some, you know, some block under about us for you. And then you can install anyone you like. So let's wait and see. What's now? Now, when you just click on this about us page, you can see a lot of about us stuff here. But this is the one I use, so I'm gonna click on this and I'll click on this insert. Can you see? And it's going to ask me ask me to connect to my library. So I'm gonna click on get started. So when I click on get started, it's gonna redirect me to where I can connect to my uh where the where I connect with my Gmail to my Elementor uh, kit template kit. So let's just wait for it. So all you just need to do is just to click on connect. So I'm going to click on connect. So when I click on connect, it's going to redirect me back to my home page, Elementor stuff. So I can you see this it now. This is stuff. So all I do here is that I change this place. You can change the image. If you look at this image, please, you see that I use another image here, a building image. I think you know we're talking about about a section. So you can shake this image to anything you like to any of the company and I told you where you can get a free image just click on this image when you click on this image click on click on this and come to this free image and search for a company or anything just anything you like so because of time I won't be taking my much time to be you know showing you everything so I can just scroll down and look for any image I like Let me search for building. I think that would be the first best one. Building. Let me just pick this for training sake. I'll just click on this con. Okay. This, this, let me just click on this paint swipe. Can you see? Click on it and it automatically loads it for you. Can you see now? This is a building. So it's just for the purpose of this training. Naturally, I will use this. So you can put right about us there, put anything you want to put here. So if you want to type anything, then just click on this. It will open up for you here. And you can type whatever thing you want to type with. So that's just basically on how to go. And don't worry, I, I have a what's it called? I have a template of all these sites that I can I can share with you. Now if you notice here again, <coughs> sorry. If you notice after this particular stuff. I make it of this particular place this is where we call our project so what i do here is that let me just show you how i do this place so that um sorry let me just show you how i did i click i click on click on this place you can use this plus bar and i click on this and i pick five so when i pick this five these are them and i, I come to the i click on this line and i change it to 
from bus to full width. Now, the first thing I do here, I came here, I came here and click on this place, and click on editing to drag it inside this place. Now, when I click on editing here, I come to my advanced, and I click on padding. I click on top 300. Oh, sorry. Let me delete them. You first link this place together. Once you link it together, come to the top, type 300. Come to the bottom, type 300. Now, I think this place is too much. You can just change it to 200, 200. I change it to 200, 200. Yeah. Can you see it now? So, I will just come here and change my test. I just type something in my test and change it to, let's say, the first crane. I'll just paste it here. Now, this screen, right? And I will just come here, click on this. Now, naturally, sorry. Now, naturally, I want to add an image. What I'm doing is that if you look at it now, there's an image here. So I make this crane image as the background image. So what I'm going to do here is to come here and click on this particular pencil. You can see this one. Click on it. When I click on it, I'm going to come to the style. And I'm going to click on this, uh, what's it called? This background type. Can you see it? Click on this classic. When you click on this classic, it's going to show this image. So click on this plus icon, this image icon. And come to this place and search for crane. So when you search for crane, it's going to load different type of crane for you. So we have a lot of crane. This is one. This is another one. So let me just pick. Let me pick this. Oh, let me see. Maybe I can see the nice one again. Okay, let me pick this. So I click on this. I mean, like I click on this, it's going to install it for me. Can you see this is a crane? Now, if you look at this particular crane now, you see that you can't see it very well. So what I can, what I will do is that I will change this default position to center, center. Can you see now? And I will change the size. Can you see size to cover? No, I think I can see it. But when you notice that my my, my test is it's not really showing very well. So I'm going to click on my test and put it in left alignment and change the color to white. Test color to white. Now, can you see it now? Now, after that, I'm going to come back to this place again. Click on it. I want to give a background overlay. If you notice this particular place, if you look at it now, you see that there's a background overlay of black. But when you carry your cursor to it, it's changing you like something like red, stuff like that. But if you look at this black, but change the red, look at this, can you see now? So what I'm going to do it for this is that. So I'll change the background overlay. I'll click on this place and change it, give it black. Can you see this black, right? And I will click on exit out of it. And I will come to over. Can you see this over? And I will click this background color and come to this place and give it red. So when you over and can you see, you see the red? Can you see, you see the red? So after finishing all this thing, I'll come back to my layout. Now all I need to do is click on this and duplicate for all of them. So when I'm duplicating for all of them, I will just be changing the image of each particular section. So I'm going to duplicate for like at least five, it depends on the category of number of, you know, what you're doing. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to delete all this. Click delete. 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 So you can, for the next one, I can just come here, change the image, come here. When you want to click on this, come to your style change the image of the stuff and change the name of the stuff if you want to change the name this is where you can change the image this is where you can change the name type click here and to show you where you can type anything you want to type here so that is how you're going to do for all of them so the next thing i also do is that i after that i scroll down okay i just change this place to our project let me copy this so i, I scroll down 
and I change this place to this our service. I change it to our project. And I just put some things there. So okay, you can just put the list of your project, okay, what you do or so one of, one of the things you have done. Just put it here, that's what I did. And I scroll down. Now I deleted this. And I put in I did something under here as a shut a, 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 a you know a booking stuff. A can whereby you can you know share do a um, free consultation. So I will just show you how I go about that. This calendar. I use calendar for this. This is my calendar. So now this is my calendar. I'm going to do. I, I, I won't be taking much time on how to create a video on calendar stuff like uh, on. Um, um, I, I won't spend much time here on how to go about this form. But let me assume. Let me delete this form. Let me go back. You can click let me just delete this when you click on this you can just click on delete delete um, let me let me delete because you can't do more okay I won't want to delete it because if I delete it to affect the form here so I will, I, I will okay let me just delete it for this training sake for this training sake let me delete it and I will create another one can you see create another one I'll just click on create I click, I'll just click on one of me, or you can just click on invert type. So when you click on invert type, it's gonna load for you. So you just type it, just click on one one on one. Click on it. So you click on one on one. So it's gonna load this for you. Just put your just say free consultation, 30 minute consultation. 30 minute free consultation. 30 minutes free consultation. So you can add a location if you want to do that. You can add a description, but I don't really have much time for that. You can use K color. Just click on next. So when you click on next, it's gonna ask all you this. So I, I, maybe I will do another video on how to go about it in full one. But just click on next. So well, you just you know after you click on next you will see something like this your event type is on once you see your event type is on here just come and click on back and you see this is your event type here can you see now so click on share so when you click on share it's gonna just click on add to a website so click on add to website and click on embedded I, I love this one far more than any other so I click on embedded and when you click on embedded, you just click on continue. So when you click on continue, this is the code. Just click on copy code. So when you copy the code, just come to your elementor here. So and just click on this plus icon. Click on this. Once you click on this, just come here and search for short code or HTML code. Any one of it. HTML code. So I'll just drag it here. When I drag it here, I will paste the code here. And once I paste the code here, I will click on update. Yeah, many a time when you paste the code here, you may see something like server error. Yeah, it, it, sometimes it depends on the hosting you are using. You might see something like server error or and you might not see it. So all you need to do is just, you can constant your hosting complaint to just help you to work on it, to just help you to, you know, do it. So that is what I did. I, I contact my host company and if you want to have the time, but I'm to take you on how to go about it, it might take a lot of time. So uh, I, I won't want to be taking much time on this video. So you can contact your host company to actually help you. So, but I won't be doing that for today's training. But sometimes your hosting might not actually require that too. It depends on the hosting I'm using for this particular tutorial stuff. So, so after that again, what I did here, what I did next is this. Um, let me scroll down. Yeah, contact us. This contact us stuff. So what I did here is that I just I, I I just come here and I click on this but uh, plus button. I click on this particular um sorry no 
what I did next is I click on this particular place and I and it should load all these things for me. So I come to categories and I click on contact. Let me just start with contact. Yeah. And these are the list. You have a lot of list of you can use anyone you like, especially those who are free. But this is the one I use. Yeah, I think this is the one I use. So I click on insert. So when you insert it, it's gonna show all this for you. So I'll just scroll down and I'll just change this place to and I just put my number here. I just put my address here, uh, number 56, NTC. So now, this is the next thing I did here now. Uh, you can just change your address to any address. You would want to change the address of this place, just click on this pencil icon. I click on this pencil icon, it's going to, it's going to load it. Just, just type the name of your address here. So when you type the name of your address there, it's going to, you know, load the street out for you and stuff like that. And basically, that's what I did here. Yeah, that is basically what I did here now. So let me delete this for spending time. I will resolve it. Let me delete this form so that I can save this. Yeah, the form is the reason, major reason why it's showing five by euro, but I will rectify it. But before that, I'll just another thing again is that I, if you look at this particular place, I have different menu. If you look at this particular place now. I have different menu, oh, mobile session, blah, you know, free consultation. When you click on it, you take it to this form stuff. So now all you just need to do is just, I actually did a, a, a I just link it up. So I did an anchor. So what? I, let me just do the same thing for this. Now, if you, if you come to this place and you screw up, now if you screw up, you know, this is about, about us, please. Just come to this place. To this place and come to your advance and come under the CSS ID just type about here yeah. capital a small letter everything about leave it like that so scroll down again scroll down again this is our services click on this particular place so when you click on this particular place just come to your advance and type service service yeah so scroll down again can just scroll down again and you can call this place click on this one and call this place project project can you see so you can also scroll down again and call this place contact advance call it contact so after calling this place contact now save them now that is what we are going to use to create our menu so you can just come to this dashboard when you come to this dashboard now let's view our website and let's do some little little changes so let's wait for it now let me view my website here Can you see now this is the website? Everything is nice, 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 nice. Can you see this is the first image that first show before the video will now start loading? That is why we use the image and then I just scroll down to our about us section. Can you see everything is fine, 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 fine. Now, one thing is that when you use this method, you must make sure you check the uh, mobile resolution. If you check the mobile resolution, it won't okay. There's a particular thing that you need to correct in your mobile. If you did not correct it, it will, the site will look out on mobile. So just to correct that, come to this responsive mode, click on it. When you click on this responsive mode, you come to mobile. Now this, click on this mobile. Now if you scroll up, Can you see all this thing now? Yeah, can you see? The reason behind all this thing is because of the padding we use. Now, to correct all this now, just come to this particular stuff. Can you see? Just click on it. When you click on this stuff, it's going to load it to you. Can you see? This is the padding. Now, all you just need to do is just click on link value together. 
Can you see when I click on link value together, everything turn to 000 and everything come to normal here. Then all I will just need to do is come to this place. When I, I will click on this pencil icon and I will come here to my typography and I will just reduce the stuff a little bit. Let me just change it to like 40. Uh -huh, yeah. I think it's okay like this. And I'll click on update. So when you are viewing this on your mobile, this is how it's going to look like. And I think everything is mobile friendly. Can you see? Can you see? Don't forget, I tell you that you're going to change your... You're going to put another service here, put another one here. It's depending on how many services you are rendering in the organization. So scroll down again. Everything is mobile friendly, mobile friendly, mobile friendly. You can reduce this size if you want it to just be on a one page. So you can just come here, click on this pencil icon. When you click on this pencil icon, come to your style. When you click on your style, come to that photography, and you can just reduce it a little bit. You can just leave it like that if you like it. So I click on update. So now. Let's go back to our, our site. Now, you know, we have a lot of this about us. This is another page. But because I don't really, I don't really have much time for this. You don't need to be creating much space. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all this page. One, two, three. I'm going to delete all this page. And I'm going to leverage on the fourth page I have here. So let me first come to my dashboard. So I'm going to come to my pages. All page in your own case, if you want to make if you want to create issues pages, you can leverage on the issue page and follow the same method I use. But my own, if you look at my own here, it's quite different. My about us is everything is just in one page. So you want to look at our service page. Can you see take us our service page? So my own is different, it depends on whatever thing you like. So based on this train, I'm gonna to come to this place and click on title and I'm gonna untick this home. That is the only page I will leave. Can you see? I'm going to untick that thing. I'm going to click on book action. This book action. And I will, I will click on move to trash. And I will click on apply. It is the only that home page I leave. Now I'm going to come back to this place. Come to my home. Can you see any other page that has been deleted? So I'm going to click on customize. Can you see customize? I click on the customize. So when I click on the customize, it's going to take me to where I can customize my site, where I can change the logo and the footer, the header and stuff like that. So I will just rush through it so that you can see how to go about it by yourself. Now when you come to this place, you see it now. To change your logo, you can just put your logo. Make sure your logo is um is in background. What is it called? Make sure you use a background. Um, oh, God. A PNG logo, yeah. Just put any PNG logo here. So I think I have one PNG logo that I did. I'll just, just click on this pencil. When you click on this pencil, it's going to take it to where you can edit the logo. And this is the logo here. Can you see the white logo? And just change the logo. Click on change the logo. So when you click on change logo, let me just try to upload the logo I have on my phone, on my laptop. So this is the logo I have here. I'm just going to drag it and just you know, upload it here. So, I, 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 I should have taken you how I made the logo. Yeah, I actually use a free app to create the logo. This is called the logo, logo maker. Just type logo maker. You'll be able to see the video on how to. You just come there, just design something. Or you probably you can use a canvas to, you know, use to you know, create a logo. But because I don't want this video to be long, so I just need to skip all those aspects. So, I'll click on shoes. It's not that maybe the logo is also fine like that. <laughs> so... This is the logo here, and I'm going to click on update. A publish rather. So anything you do here, you must make sure you click on publish. Too. Can you see this is the logo here, but it's very small. So I can just scroll down and increase it. I can increase it a little bit. Can you see? I think it's okay like this. And I'll click on publish. Yeah. Now, another thing I want to do is that I want to come to this menu icon of the Now, if I want to do this thing, I can click on this particular pencil here, or I should come back to this place and click on this one, any of the two. So, I will click on this pencil here. So, when I click on this pencil here, it's going to take me to this particular place, and I'm going to click on configure menu from here. 
so i'm going to click on it now i'm going to click on menu let me click on back and this is the menu i want to click on can you see it click on this menu and you see some red rest of here yeah it's because i have deleted those link so i'll just come here i have deleted those speech but they are still reflecting here but the link are no longer on the page that's why they are showing red so invalid i will remove them I will, oh click on here again click on remove click on here again click on remove click on here again and click on remove so then i will now create my own menu so i'll click on add item can you see this add item so when i click on add item i'll click on customize link can you see this customize link so i'll click on about here it will be hashtag hashtag about don't forget that is the name we use when we are linking it up in the cdf id and i will and I will come click on here and I'll call this place about us. Now this is the name the link there that will show up. Okay, let me just add to the menu. I will show you what I mean later. So I will come here again and click on uh, hashtag service. And I'll come here and click on our service. Our services so I'll click on add to me what is this I'll click on add to menu I'll come here again and click on hashtag um, our services our project project and I click on our project click on it I will click come here again and click on hashtag contact. I will click on this bit and call it our contact. So let me just leave this five. So let me do after I, I you know I can now arrange them. Okay, it's okay like this. And I'll click on publish. So when I click on publish, can you see them now? Can you see them here now? Can you see them here now? Now I can change this button now. This one I can just link this one to a WhatsApp button. I can just click here and say this pencil icon. Just click on this pencil icon. So and it's gonna open here. So just click on. I just type um what's it called? Uh, what can I put here? What can I put here? I can just say get in touch with us. Yeah, get in touch with us. Get in touch. Get in touch. So I can just link this to my WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. Just put it like this and click on publish. And I think the last aspect is the footer aspect. The footer aspect. Yeah. You can just come here under about us here. You can just let me just copy something here from this my site. Let me just copy what I put here. So you can just come to your customize, click on got it, and it will open the test here for you. So you just double click on it, one, two, three. Okay, now just control A, delete it, and paste the new one here. So this is it. Now this is our service now. Now you here, just click on this pencil icon. When you click on this pencil icon, it's going to lead it's going to show you all this our service store for you but i'm not doing any of this service so i'm going to come here and delete all the service remove click on this remove it also so let me pause this and do it for every other thing. so i've actually removed everything so i'm going to click on my own item now can you say add item and i will you know create them and link them to my services i'll just click on hashtag Click on this page, hashtag services. And I'll call this one crane. Crane renting. Click on add new. Another thing you are doing again, just hash services. I can just say building construction. 
building construction click on add menu I just come again ash services I just say soy test add to menu and what else again let me just add one road construction ash services I just put road construction here I think it's okay like this. It's just for the purpose of the training sake, and I click on publish, and you see everything here now. Now contact us. You can just come here, click on this pencil. When you click on contact us, this pencil is going to load it here for you. So all you need to do is just click on this particular place. You can just delete all this, or you can type anything you want. But me, I don't like. I don't. I don't. I don't buy the idea. So I will delete everything there, and I will scroll down. And I will come here and put on click on this my contact and i will come here i will put my address here number 56 so 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 like that now if you look at this now if you over on this link you will see that it's showing another color yeah because the link is so i'll just come here and delete this hashtag hashtag is just like a link so i'm going to take it away so i'll close this again come to this place yeah i'll put in my phone number here i'll just uh um Plus two three four nine zero three five three eight two two seven one, and I'll just call this one. I'll just link it to my phone number. So this is how to link it. Just write T E L semicolon and your phone number zero nine zero three five three eight two two seven one. So when people click on this line now, it will direct them to come and call you on their phone. So I'll close it again. I'll put in my email. I can just put in my email. I can let me first put in my email. I can just put my the leading training. At jimmy.com. And I can just put link it up to my mail also. Mail to semicolon. Control C. Control V. So I think I'm done now. Yeah. So basically that is how to go about everything, everything. So um, now if you don't want to take your, as I've done now, so I can exist out of this page. Now if you don't want to take your time, if you don't want to stress yourself on going through the process of me building this all this thing from scratch, I will be giving this uh, template out, this is the template, the template of this website, everything. Everything you see from here, you just need want to create your menu by yourself. All you just need to do is to create your menu and to install your what is it called? To install your uh, your logo and stuff like that. That's the and to, to edit your footer. But I, but everything I did in this Elementor, I'm gonna give you everything here. And this is this. I have the template here, and you will see the template at the you know full, um, description of this. Um, of the video of this YouTube video, and in case you didn't see the template, you can actually DM so I can send it to you. So, um, thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. That is just basically how to do your website, how to design your website that will make it look like this. You can even do something awesome than my own. So, I don't know, is there anything I'm forgetting that I've not yet touched? Uh, I, I think I've touched every aspect, yeah. I don't want this video too long. There's still another, a lot of things I want to explain. But if I, if I if I decided to take my time to explain it, like probably like this one now, how you can create it. But maybe I'm, I'm going to do it this one in a new video again entirely, so that you'll be able to see how to create it, how to do everything from scratch. So thank you very very much. Um, I will just need to you know stop the video here and yet if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel please do so if you have an issue with any web design or you want to learn web design you can actually check my youtube channel on videos about web design i can actually help you i have a lot of videos a lot of video on it and just type delete okay let me just close this so i have a lot of video you can just come to my playlist and i have a lot of web design video that can be of help to you where you can learn a lot of things and you can do this yeah if you want to learn web design from basic to advanced so just come here and check out and i have also called another courses also you can just check them out so 
If you have any issue, if you have any aspect of this video you did not understand, please, you are free to reach out to me anytime, any day. And I'm, I promise you to give you my time. I promise you to give you my time. If you want to reach out to me, this is my phone number. 09035382271. You can just reach out to me on this phone number. And believe me, you will get my full attention and anything you need from me, especially web design. So that is just basically how to go about it. And another thing again is that if you have any issue, please feel free to reach out to me. And I actually, I actually want to tell you that Jesus really loves you and he has a very good plan for you. Seriously, if I actually want to become the best in life, it's not about what you know, it's about, you know, the idea that God gives to you. So please and please, if you're watching my YouTube video, please, I will encourage you. If you have yet to give your life to Christ, please, I want you to give your life to Christ so that you can enjoy the best in life. It is only in Christ you can enjoy the best. There's no other best anyway you can only have the best in christ the best is only in christ so please and please i will encourage everyone of you to give your life to christ so that you can enjoy god's plan for your life and i pray that whatever to you guys may be passing through the lord god is going to make a way for you and support you and in this web design career that i pray that god almighty is going to increase you guys and favor you and give you more clients in jesus name so basically that is just all i want to talk about in this video thank you very much god bless you have a wonderful day ahead of you